So chances are, if you've been using Blender for some time, you're aware of the idea of taking an object and subdividing it to increase its topology. Now, there's something really interesting that a lot of people may not know. That's why I'm making this very quick tutorial. So say, for example, we had an object. In this case, you can see I have an object here that's got a lot of topology and I've unsubdivided it. So yes, this tutorial is about unsubdividing an object, so unsubdivision. So I'm gonna quickly show you how you can do that. So you can take any object, and I'm gonna show you some of the limitations in a second, but you just select the object in edit mode. You press F3 on your keyboard and you type in unsubdivide. So un, sub, and you're gonna see unsubdivide and you're just gonna click on it. And just like that, you've unsubdivided your mesh. And you can come over here to the unsubdivide and mess around with the iterations as well. Um, sometimes that messes things up a little bit. So all I tend to do is just go once again, F3, and once again, click on unsubdivide. And working your way down, you can unsubdivide your mesh. Obviously, you're gonna to get to a point where it can't do it anymore, but that is something really handy. I hope you guys are able to use that. So I'll quickly subdivide this again, and then I'll go ahead, smooth it, and show you once again, just unsubdivide, like that. Now, if you were to have, for example, a triangulated mesh like this, I'm gonna just apply that, and you were to come in here and press F3 and go unsubdivide, then you can see it doesn't work. You can also go Alt J to get rid of the triangles, and that's another handy tip. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time for another tutorial.